Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multiphysics. DRD seldom supports ANSYS software in the central United States. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our mission is to help clients maximize their utilization of ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. Hi, my name is Kevin Adams, and today I'm going to be demonstrating some of the tools that are available in ANSYS Mechanical that can help you identify and improve the quality of your mesh. So first, taking a look at the geometry we have here, this is a half-symmetric model of a piston. I'm going to go ahead and generate the default mesh. We'll be working with tetrahedral elements. So the first thing I want to show is this display style option. This is in the details of your mesh. And when you choose this drop-down menu, you can choose some of the various uh, mesh metrics. Um, today we're going to be looking at element quality, aspect ratio, and Jacobian ratio. So first, the element quality. Um, this is a value that's going to range from 0 to 1, with higher values meaning higher quality elements. Um, in general, you'll be looking at this minimum value and making changes in your mesh to try to increase the, the minimum element quality in your mesh. Next quantity is aspect ratio. Um, this is the ratio of the longest dimension of an individual element to its shortest dimension. So in general, you'll be looking at this max value and trying to decrease that value. And then lastly, we'll be looking at Jacobian ratio. Um, this is a mathematical quantity based on the determinant of the Jacobian matrix at various sampling points uh, on each element, um, so usually uh, the nodes or integration points. If you want more information on what these individual element quality metrics are, um, and how they're calculated. You can go to the documentation by going to help, mechanical help. Um, you can use the, the search box or just go down to uh, the meshing users guide, global mesh controls, statistics group, and then mesh metric. So each one of these is going to be a little article on how these quantities are calculated and sometimes um, some examples of what various elements look like at different values of, you know, different aspect ratios. Um, if you want to know how the Jacobian ratio is calculated, you can uh, read through this article, take a look at the, the various examples of different elements here. I'm going to go ahead and jump back into mechanical. Um, for Jacobian ratio, you're basically going to be wanting to decrease your maximum Jacobian ratio. And the other thing you're going to want to look out for is you won't want to see this negative 100 here, um, especially if you're working with a nonlinear model. So aside from using this display style option, you also have some options under statistics, mesh metric. So we'll take a look at element quality. And you get this nice histogram here at the bottom basically graphs out uh, mesh, your, your mesh metric, so element quality on the x-axis, and then the number of elements on the y-axis, so the number of elements in each one of these categories. If I click on one, it'll show me basically here all of the elements with a quality uh, between about 0.9 and 1. Um, specifically for element quality, we'll probably want to look at the, the ones with the lowest element quality. If you have a hard time clicking this little uh, bar here, you can also go to your controls, change the y-axis maximum to 1. It'll make all these bars the same height and make it easier to click on that. So these are all of our lowest quality elements in the model. And if we wanted to, we could uh, break this down further to see you know, which one of these is our absolute lowest. So if we want to see all of the elements between with a quality between 0.15 and 0.25, we can just put that in here. And then we get another histogram that just goes from 0.15 to 0.25. So this element here would be our lowest quality element. So then you might want to go in and um, create some uh, local mesh refinements or something like that to change the shape of the element in that, in that location. Um, 
you can use the mesh metric to take a look at aspect ratio and Jacobian matrix, uh, Jacobian ratio, excuse me, as well. Um, the next thing I want to show you is uh, the shape checking option. You can use this basically to increase the general uh, global element quality of your mesh. Um, so standard mechanical is the default, and it's basically the least strict of the different uh, shape checking algorithms. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my mesh metric here. Let's use element quality as an example. So if we take a look at our minimum element quality, we're at 0.15. We're going to change our shape checking to aggressive mechanical. So this is a more strict uh, shape checking algorithm. We'll go ahead and generate the mesh and see if we can get this minimum element quality increase. So we went from 0.15 to 0.17. And then if we increase from aggressive mechanical to nonlinear mechanical, generate the mesh again should see another increase in element quality at our minimum here. So we went all the way up to almost uh, 0.25. And we should see a similar behavior in aspect ratio and Jacobian ratio. Um, specifically, I'll, I'll show you that our aspect ratio is, is 9.2 with nonlinear mechanical. And if I went back to, say, standard mechanical, I think we had a maximum aspect ratio about 14.9. So you can see that we had a, a better value with, with the nonlinear mechanical. Um, earlier we took a look at the Jacobian ratio and we saw that we had that negative 100 there. It's not something we want to see for our model, especially if we're working uh, with a nonlinear analysis. So if we change this to aggressive mechanical, we should see that go to 1 and see the maximum value come down quite a bit. And then if we go to nonlinear mechanical, we should see that uh, maximum value reduce, reduce even further. So in summary, we took a look at the options for uh, displaying various mesh metrics using the display style and the uh, mesh metric statistics to take a look at, a, at the plot of the various uh, mesh metrics on our model. Um, and then we also took a look at changing this uh, shape checking option in order to increase the global element quality of our mesh.